Hello, I'm Karen and this is part three of Making Your Bell Fairies. And in this video, I'm actually going to be sharing with you how to put the little faces on. Now, I know many of you will probably be able to do this all by yourself and you don't need my advice at all. However, I did, um, I struggled with actually being able to make little faces. So I actually wanted to share how I've actually managed to achieve these things. And if you actually compare um, faces you can see they're all slightly different even though I've actually used the same method all the way through okay so what you're going to do is you need to get your fairy soul <laughs> and you're going to need I've got two needles here that I've already threaded because um, I have I just, just didn't want to struggle threading them on the video now I've actually chosen an orange thread for her eyebrows and I've actually chosen the red because all my fairies have got the same shade of red. So this is the shade of red that they've got for their lips. And this is the shade of orange that I'm going to be using for her eyebrows. Because this is going to be an orange fairy. Okay, so if you look at my purple fairy, she's actually got purple eyebrows. And my green fairy's got green eyebrows. So that they all are matching. You know, it doesn't matter if it's in not exactly the same shade. But I just made them so that they all match. And you're also going to need... Um, your wide-eyed darning needle with with some yarn threaded on it. I've actually got quite a lot of yarn on this one. It might be a bit too much, but I'd rather have too much than not enough. Okay, so, and, and it's got to be, what, at least six, eight hooks long. So what you're going to do is you're going to look, look decide first of all, which is the front and which is the back. Okay, I decided that this is going to be the front of mine. And so when you look at the actual head, you're looking for the middle of the actual face, okay? And so you'll find that you've got actually a stitch somewhere in the middle of the face. So you want, maybe, you want, so I think I'm going to go, um, if I go up there, it's going to be probably a little bit high, but there, for me to do the mouth, it might be a little bit low for the mouth. Let's see, look at those ones. No, I'm going to go here. And I'm actually going to make the nose at this particular point here. So you choose where you want your nose for your um, fairy. And what you want to do is you want to pull this thread through, just so, and then leave yourself like um, a good hook and a half long to be able to sew this other end in. And all you're going to do is you're just going to just go through that same stitch over and over again. Okay, so to start off with, the first... Um, stitch the time doing make sure you don't get tangled in the arms because once you've got the arms and legs on that's it she'll try and join in as much as she can um, to be able to help you it's really bizarre <laughs> um, but it's true there's, there's all the body parts they just from now onwards they just want to hang on to little bits so you have to be careful and you just sew over this one little um, stitch until you've got the sort of nose that you're happy with. And mine have all got slightly different noses. I think I've done three stitches on this one so far. So I think that's about four. I tried to have a look from this side as well to see if I'm getting a good um, nose from this side. Pull that bit tighter. Um, and what say and you just do this until you're happy so you can actually make a really really big chunky nose or you can make little tiny button noses but I do mine so I think oh yeah that looks that's cute I actually like that and I'm getting to that stage with this one I think I'm just going to do one more stitch just to do this bit so that's made um, sort of a, ni a nice <clears throat> rounded nose there and I can see that it's it is bulging out a little bit from the side <coughs> now, once you've actually decided that you're happy with the size of the nose, you want to go in the side of the nose, you want to go all the way through to the back of the head. And you want to come out in not where in between one of your stitch holes. Okay? I'm just going to make sure this is not tangled as I pull this end through, which it is it's tangling around the arm, and I don't want the original tail end to get tangled neither. Oop, what have I done? I've got stuck on something. There we go. I've got there. Now I'm just going to just pull that up a bit more. 
so this is going to sit down the front this is the actual um the tail end that i'm going to be sewing in in a, in a minute so when you actually look at where you've done your nose you will see that there's like two stitches up above it and then there's a stitch to each side so i want to come out at this point here so it's there's a stitch above but there's like the hole at the side so i want to go through that same hole and then i'm going to come through this hole at the front I'm just going to pull that through. I'm just going to make sure it just sits. I'm not going to pull it tight or anything. So that's just as far as it's going to go. And then I go over that stitch. And I'm going to come out of the back again through one of the holes. And at this point, when I pull this through. To pull this one through, you're going to push tight. So it's gone in. So you're actually making an eye socket. Okay, and then I want I hold my yarn at the back to stop it from going back through. I want to come through the same hole but a slightly different angle. So I'm wrapping around the actual stuffing inside. And then I'm going to come through this same space. Oops, I'm getting tangled up with my cotton as well now. <laughs> okay, and then this time it's going to pop through. And it's just not going to look quite as indented. But then I'm going to go over that stitch again, come out through the back somewhere. <coughs> Excuse me. And I'm going to pull that tight again, just so that we've got that indentation. Now I'm going to go in here. I'm going to go, I'm coming, if you can see my needle, it's like coming at an angle now. Because what I want to do is I want to come out. There's my nose. And I want to come out in that stitch there. So I want to come out there. Pull this through, just make sure that I've not left any tail end things sticking out of the back. You don't really want to get the back of the head indented, but it doesn't matter because we're going to put hats on it. So if you do actually make any mistakes, because my very first fairy's face that I ever made, she had giant stitches on the back of her head because <laughs> I just didn't know how to do it invisibly. Um, so just thought I'd share that random thing with you. So I pull this one tight, so now it's gone in, so it's looking, we've got the two indentations. I'm holding that at the back, going back into the same hole and coming out through the same hole at the front that I went through in the beginning. Pull that through, we don't want that to really stick at the back there. And I'm going to go in, so we're going over that stitch, coming out of the back of the head again. Oops, I'm all tangled up my cottons. Pull that through. Pull that tight so we've got the two end indentations for the eye sockets. And then what I do is I actually go back in through the head, come out at a different place because I want that to stay obviously inside. And I'm just going to go back through over this side. I'm just wrapping it, sort of making sure that it's going through the actual stuffing on the inside. And like I said, it's far too much yarn really, but there was enough room for me to play with and to get what I wanted. So I'm going to remove that and then I've got the other side of the nose so I'm going to get this tail end thread my needle you can if you decide you want to go over the nose one more time to create an extra stitch come out you don't need to pull this tight not really you'll just make it sure it's looking neat she's got a little bump on her nose now <laughs> I keep saying she um I know I can't help it. I'm I just these are quite feminine looking really, but they're not really a gender as such. There we go. So there we go. Now you can see that we've actually oh oh my days. <laughs> I forgot the black sparkly yarn. Just one minute. I'm really sorry about that. Okay, black sparkly yarn. <laughs> um, I need to cut myself a thread of sparkly yarn, um, two or three hooks long. I know you're not going to be able to see this against the background very well, but um, you will obviously be able to see it on the face. So, 
excuse my <laughs> randomness of disappearance right so what we're going to do now is we're actually going to go into the back of the head i'm going to come in to space and we're actually going to go in and where we've just made those eye sockets i want to come out in this same place pull this tail end through leave yourself a nice tail end at the back okay and what you're going to do is you're going to go in over that little stitch <clears throat> come out through a hole at the back and so you've got one little line for the eye then go back through that same place but make sure you're sort of twisting through the actual stuffing at the back you want to come out in exactly the same hole and this one as you pull through the back very carefully pull through you're not pulling this tight at all now so I'm going to pull that through so that disappears and so that's a hidden stitch at the back and then back over that stitch come out through the back and as we pull this through you can see this makes the a more visible eye <clears throat> okay and then what you want to do is you want to go back through that same hole come in through sort of a diagonal angle so that I can come through to this next I, I can't get through it. <laughs> Come on, there it is. So as we pull this through the back, very gently, this will hide that stitch so it's gone. Yeah. And we're going to go over this stitch where we did the white stitch to make the eye socket. Go into that place. Come out somewhere through the back. It doesn't matter where you come out through the back as long as it's between stitches. <clears throat> Excuse me. I'm really sorry. My throat's tickling. So that's one, and I'm going to come back into that same hole, sort of going again, I'm going diagonally now, so that I'm trying not to make sure, you know when you, sometimes when you sew through the same holes, you accidentally undo your stitch. So I'm going to pull through there, and then go over the stitch, and straight to the back, and we're coming out there. Make sure we're not right, tangled up with the arms, trying to tell you all the things that I made, had accidents with while I was actually designing these and making these. So we've got our eyes looking like that. Now you can make them bigger, you can do extra stitches if you want. Um, I think I might, I think I might do one extra stitch over each eye. So I'm going to come back over this eye here. There. And back through to the back, coming out there. Oh, that's nice. Look, nice big dark eyes. And then coming through the opposite side, <coughs> making sure that that's come through there, back over there, out through the back somewhere, making sure I'm not tangled up. And there we go, we've got some really nice big eyes there. Then what I do then is I then go back through that same hole, tuck into the stuffing at the back. I'm going to come out, still in the back of the head, because I know you can actually see a bit of the black um, coming through, but that gets hidden with the hat. So I'm going to cut that end off, get rid of that bit, and then use this tail end so I've got that nice length so I've got a good action to be able to then go back into that hole and to come out somewhere else just to hide that stitch there so oh, I think that's it it's not moving anymore all right now I've done that one so is it some this is what may what happen to you that when you cut off your yarn you can see it there but if you go into this stitch at the side with the back of your wide-eyed needle and just lift up that stitch you can put the needle through and just tuck that piece out of the way so it's become invisible again. Okay, so we're now we've got the nose and the eyes. And put that needle to one side. Now with I'm going to do the mouth next. She says with all the tangled up cottons. Now when I threaded my needle, I I don't tie a knot in the end. I don't know if you can see my cotton, but I haven't tied a knot in the end. 
okay <clears throat> well, now when you go to make the mouth you've got where the actual nose is there's the stitches where it's sort of finished so the smile doesn't want to come above the bottom of the nose and I like this these stitches here I'm going to use these so I want to I'm going to come out in the actual stitch this time so I'm going to go in through the back through um, just one of the holes okay I want to come out in the actual stitch not into the hole this time into an actual stitch and I'm going to come just there should we do a nice big wide smile I think yeah so there okay my needles come through I hope you can see this as I pull this through I leave a tail end at the back so I've got something to hold on to so that it doesn't accidentally come undone and that should be enough now I'm going to go I'm going to go into the actual stitches here not into the actual stuffing I'm just in the tops of the stitches and I'm going to go through there and come out <clears throat> so what's going to happen is we're going to have this stitch this way we have to be careful because this is double double threaded okay so we've got one line you can see that I know it's really delicate because obviously it's thin cotton and then making sure I'm not wrapped around her arm I want to go back into that exactly the same point where I came where this stitch went in there and I want to come out in exactly the same place that I actually finished the where I came out there whoops so as I come through and pull that through actually making this piece come across can you see that <clears throat> and now what I'm going to do is I'm going to tip her upside down <laughs> this is the only way I know how to do this whoopsie daisy and so I want to come out at no higher than this bit here so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go into the face here where I'm going to go right in underneath all of the stuffing and I want to come out at the other side of the smile at the same point if I can there and now I want to very carefully pull that through making sure that it's not tangled up with any arms and with the, all the cottons are there so now I've got the basis of the smile and I've got a little gap there that has happened so what we're going to do is we're going to go back in and redo this and so to make sure that I'm covering everything I'm going to come out nearer to that stitch there so I can cover up that little tiny gap that happened come out of the way orange cotton okay I mean I can pull that one at the back there a bit they're not slightly not sitting quite together there but we can maneuver that so that's okay there that's better and then I'm going to go in and I'm actually going to come up to the top of the smile this time there so I've done these are back stitches aren't they as you do this you see that I've got my little tiny thread in there so I've got and I'm going to have to pull one side of it so I'm going to split this apart pull that tight just to make sure they've gone nice and tight I've not come out in exactly the same place that's not very good really but hey ho um, I'm going to just try and move that stitch over that little bit let's see if that will help me there this is probably the hardest bit <laughs> but with practice you can do it so now I'm going to go to the bottom of the smile I'm going to come right up at the other side of the smile it's so one last time in the same place it's really awkward for me to do on a video <laughs> I have to admit um, but I'm trying there we go they're not looking too bad it's not not actually the best but it's not actually the worst so and your fairies don't mind as long as they've got smiles and they're happy that's what's important and so <laughs> stop it you will get a lot of that they join in everything gets tangled up and wants to join in and you get all sorts of weird things happen while you're doing this and now I'm just 
Well, as you can see, you can see that I... Where's this one then? Is it that one? I've got a little split that's happened there, lot, and I can't seem to rectify that. So I'm going to go and try and cover up this one where it's, I've made it a little bit more of a mess and come out the other side there and I'm running out of cotton now so I've got to be careful there well you've got a little bit of a quirky smile going off there my lovely and because I've only got this much cotton left and what I'm going to do is I'm going to just try and neaten up that bit a little bit more one more attempt oh that looks much better look and then I'm going to go into there and we're going to come straight out the back because I'm running out of cotton now so pull that through making sure it's looking nice at the front it's not bad I'm not going to knock that one at all <laughs> you know and obviously if you're new at sewing um, then it'll be a bit more challenging but I'm just going to tuck that through there now cut that off and put my needle back in its little spongy thing then we'd cut this one off then I'm going to get my wide-eyed darning needle because as you can see I've got two little red dots and I'm just going to just do what I did before just pull up the stitch and that just hides those there and so now we've got a smile and so the next stage to do is the eyebrows okay and the way that I do the eyebrows I do the same I come from from the back to start off with then I decide I'm going to go about here I think um, pull all the way through so I've got some tail end at the back just something to hold on to for now I'm just going through the tops of the stitches again so I'm going to pick my spot where I'm going to do the eyebrows come through those stitches and it's just going to be oops I've split that there go through there and we can see I've got a little loop so I want to pull it maybe if I pull it at the back end no I've got to definitely pull one side there we go make sure that's straight I'm going to go over that again so we've got a second stitch and see what that looks like I'm trying to come out in exactly the same point and trying to look at this while I'm on camera is really fiddly but I'm getting there I'm getting there it's working <laughs> I did wonder that I was going to have to make like six or seven videos now actually because that's orange it's actually quite a dark shade I don't think I'm going to need really any more than three stitches so I'm going to go in the other side and I'm going to come out right the way through and through another stitch on the opposite side so she's got an eyebrow on the opposite side and don't worry this isn't like doing your makeup if you've got wonky eyebrows your fairies don't mind okay they really really don't at the end of the day it, this is a fun item to make and it's very forgiving if you do make little mistakes like that and they've all let's say I've done let's see I can't remember how many faces I've done now <laughs> but they've all come out different even though I'm following my own instructions which are the same and oh, we've got a little loop thing going off there again which thread are you you're one side I want to part these two threads if you pull them too tight it will screw up the stitch so that's it I'm giving in on this one I'm going to go and come in I'm going to go through the back I want to come through one of the the holes at the back though not through the stitches that will do there and then I want to pull this stitch all the way through and I know this is a vulnerable part of the fairy and that if you're going to be say if a child's going to play with it there is the chance that these bits may get snagged but by doing the extra stitches over it it shouldn't really but if they do you know how to repair it because you know if you know how to make it you know how to repair it okay <clears throat> so 
I'm just trying to make sure that both of my stitches are pulled through nicely. Now I'm not going to get it any better than that, so that's it. I'm going to just put this cotton and to go back through inside the head somewhere, come out. Oh, it's coming out at the bottom there, look. Pull that through, cut this piece off there, put my needle in its thing, cut this one off, get rid of that. And the same again, just pull the stitch up at the back just to make sure that the um, colours disappear so that it just so it does look nice if the hat does happen to come off when you've actually made it. So there we go, we've now got a face, okay, on your little person which will walk. Yay! And you can fly, be Superman, woohoo, super bad, yay! Or you could just be in space. <laughs> anyway there you go that's that's the fairy's soul in the next video i'm actually be going going to be sharing with you how to add the dresses on now i am going to do the horizontal pattern but i will show you as we're working how you actually make this pattern because believe it or not this is actually the same stitching all the way through the only reason it looks different is because of where i've changed the colors Okay, so thank you for watching, thank you for liking, thank you for sharing, thank you for subscribing. And thank you for all your lovely, lovely comments. And I will see you in the next video. Bye for now.